What is going on, you wonderful, wonderful people? My name is Big Rob, and this is Big Rob's House of Entertainment and No Chinese Food. Man, so I am shocked, delighted, and a little bit frightened. I got to looking at my history, and I have realized that y'all, it has been exactly one year since I uploaded the first episode of Big Rob's House of Entertainment and No Chinese Food. Y'all have been with me on a one year long journey. For those of y'all that have been here the whole time, I'm so sorry. <laughs> now, thank you. Thank you so much. For those of y'all that have just started tuning in, thank y'all so, so much. Uh, you know, I I really, I didn't know if I was going to keep this going or if this is going to be a couple of weeks and I was just going to be done. But I'm still here. Um, the show has changed a lot, I think, because I honestly didn't know well, I, I knew what I wanted to do to start with, and then it ended up just being not what I ended up with, because I, I wanted a comedy show, and and it just didn't end up being that way. I mean, you go look at some of my first episodes, and, and I tell a lot of stories, and, and I probably still will, but um, honestly, most of that has moved over to my TikTok channel. Um, it just, to me, seems to work better over there. Um, and and I did movie reviews. And I know a lot of you people, a lot of you guys like those. So those probably are not going to go away. Um, I mean, I do them as often, but they're not going away. Um, but I stumbled on toy hunts. which I, My first episode was a, a lightsaber review. So I've been doing toys the whole time off and on collectibles toys action figures but but my last video toy hunted ollies has got some really good views for me um so you know i'm gonna run this for a little while i actually really love going into these stores you know i i don't do a lot of walmart target stuff i mean i do that but i don't film it much i love going into these other stores that you really don't necessarily think of as having great toy sections and seeing what I can find. Um, that's not to say I won't ever do a Target run or Walmart run. That's just to say I haven't been. But I really, really love doing this kind of thing. And I really appreciate you guys for hanging around with me. Um, if you uh, got any comments on that, good or bad, feel free to drop them down there and let me know what you think. Um, this week, I did two toy hunts. Um, first, I dropped in at a Ross. Um, I had seen online um, that they've had some G.I. Joe classifieds, and I haven't found any yet. But then this past week, i seen a couple of different people has found Star Wars Black Series lightsabers for like 60 bucks. Um the one I keep seeing online, well, I keep saying, I've seen it twice, is Ray's lightsaber. And I already have that one, but I still want to see if I can find one. Not that I need it, but just thrill of the hunt, so to speak, I guess. Um, so I went to Ross um, and, and did a little quick toy hunt. And that's what we'll look at right now. Um, and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, well, I'm just going to start out here at this display. It's some Fortnite, some Marvel Mix Strike, some Sonic, Roblox, some sort of military set, more Roblox, Take Deck, Hot Wheels cars. There's more toys here than I've seen at any other Ross. Hopefully they'll have something good. Spider-Man, Black Panther. El Toro Loco, if you like monster trucks, which I do, because redneck. Let's see. 
some magic tracks, nerve, some games, best action Michelangelo. I'm not a huge fan of those, but they're kind of cool looking. Let's see. Some more Ninja Turtles. That's pretty cool. I'm trying not to buy more pot finals, but a Chrome Stormtrooper is pretty sweet. Let's see. Velocitron, uh, Scourge. I don't know, maybe Transformers people like that. Not huge in the Transformers, so I don't know. Lola from Obi Wan Kenobi. Some Hot Wheels, Barbie, bunch more Roblox stuff. I know nothing about Roblox, sorry. Some Naruto figures. Uh. Haruno Sakura. And Gata. I guess I don't know. Maybe my nephews can tell me about that. I think they watch Naruto. T Rex. Jurassic Park. Arasaurus. All right, so what was it? It was that was Ross. All right, well, no lightsaber. That's kind of a bummer, but you know it is what it is. Um, that kind of gives you an idea on how big the sections, the toy sections are at Ross. And that was probably one of the bigger, well, the section was about normal, but the, the extra table and the extra uh, 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 gondola off to the side were new. Um, I haven't seen that many toys in the Rosses that I've been to, but you know, if you're into any of that stuff, might wanna check Ross out. Um, I have personally seen McFarlane figures there for six bucks, Marvel Legends for six bucks. Um, online, I've seen G.I. Joe classified figures there. I've not seen those myself yet, but from what I understand, uh, there are some classified figures hanging around at Ross, some Star Wars Black Series hanging around at Ross. So who knows? I'm, I'm going to keep checking them out. You know, you guys let me know what's the best thing you found at Ross. Um, it doesn't have to be toys. You know, that's what I was looking for, but maybe you found an amazing pair of shoes. I'm still interested because you know, I love a bargain, right? All right, well, let's see what else we can find to do today. So after I left Ross, um, I rode up to road to Ollie's. And this is an Ollie's I've been to a couple of times, but I mean, Ollie's is one of those places you come monday and you go back on friday and you're gonna see some new stuff because they are not they they don't just rest on their laurels they're constantly getting stuff in and opening it up and putting it out on the floor to sell so you just never really know what you're gonna find at an ollie's from literally one beginning of the week to the end of the week so um was a pretty pretty productive one um we'll we'll show you that show you the aftermath of that and we'll be back to close the show all right, let's see what we got here. I see some Power Rangers, Doctor Strange. Yeah, well, Spider-Man. Beast Wars, Scorpionock. Snake Eyes model, Boba Fett model, some Fortnite. Jurassic Park. More $5 movie G.I. Joes. Kids He-Man, Battle Armor He-Man. That 10 years rolling is pretty cool. Some Ghostbusters. NASCAR. Other vehicles. Let's see. There's some model kits based off Monopoly and Hot Wheels. It's cool. Black Series, Kiss and Andor, Shocker, Star Wars Mission Fleet, Optimus Primal, Megatron, Poor Lady J's, man they must have made a million of those.
Imperial Death Trooper. Looks like the box got shipped from Walmart. Eesh. Oh well, I've got one, so. Some Nerf, some drones. More Nerf. Nerf Roblox. Nerf Select. I don't know. Nerf's fun. Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, five dollar movie GI Joe's. Five dollar movie GI Joe's. Car uh, Lady, Lady J. Fortnite. Some more Fortnite stuff. It's a pretty cool looking mask. I don't know anything about Fortnite, but it's a cool looking mask. More Joe's. More Nerf. Let's see. Wrapping paper to wrap it in. Here we go. All right. Got some inspiring women. That's cool. Mission Fleet. Some Grogu. Mission Fleet. Black Series credit collections. Moff Gideon, Princess Leia, the Emperor, Lando, Han, the Grand Moff. Pretty cool figures. Let's see, some Marvel stuff here. Uh, Eternals, Wakanda Forever, more Han Solo. Some 12 inch stuff. Mostly Eternals and Black Panther. Ain't that what if Captain Carter? That Black Panther, or excuse me, Black Widow. It's a pretty good figure. I've got one of those as well. Let's see. Probably interesting stuff down that aisle, but it's nothing that I know anything about. So what happens when you plan don't plan ahead, people? You don't know which aisles to go down. Here we go. Let's see. Yes, I am using the buggy. I have stuff in there already. Here we go. So, some Black Panther. Discovery. I bought uh, a set of this for Caleb, my nephew, the other year. It was a lot of fun. U.S. Agent. The Controller Series. Overwatch. Some Saul Guerreras. Ah, Jen Urso, some Eternals. Oh, Zorana. Oops. Technical difficulties. My apologies. Uh, it's like Dusty. Another Zorana. I have to check see if Hassel needs any of those. Let's see. More of those Cobra Hiss tanks. The Weird Alpha 5 from the new movie. Boom. Sergeant Slaughter. I actually got lucky a week or so ago and I found my own. It looks like they got a whole case of him in. Maybe two cases. All right. I will go ahead and tell y'all I am in Thomasville, Georgia. If y'all need Sergeant Slaughter, there he goes. Let's see, Dungeons and Dragons, He Man Masterverse, some more Doctor Strange, What If, Black Panther Legends, some laser blocks, some Velocitron 500. I want to like those retro collections, but I just don't. I want to. More Fortnite. Let's see. Ghostbusters Fearsome Flush. Evil Rubber Duck. I don't understand, but okay. Cool. 
Maybe nobody else did either, and that's why it's at Ollie's now. Let's see. Some random figures. Some more Zoranas. Oh, oh, oh. Here's some Crimson Guards. I know Hassel needs a couple of those, so those may not be here much longer. I gotta get in touch with him. But definitely check, you know. They're here. They're at Ollie's. Alright. Let's see. The rest of this aisle. Board games. Puzzles. Some cool stuff. It's the Les Glow Studio. Highlander playing a uh, card game of some sort. Ace May. Alright, some more Marvel Legends. Black Series. Black Widow in the white suit. Pretty cool. Thor. Bunch more Black Widow in the white suit. Alright, that's it. Thanks. Well, that was Ollie's in Thomasville, Georgia. In case you need some Stars and Slaughters, there was several of them there. I was shocked. I've seen them. But I ain't seen that many at one time. But if you need some and you're close by, there you go. Um, so I did talk to Hassel and I picked up a Zorana for him. She, look, she has uh, pink and orange hair or just pink hair. I have no idea why, but that amuses me like severely. But anyway, I get that to hassle uh, hopefully this weekend. And I am trying so, so hard not to buy these classified figures. They look amazing. They're very cool. I used to have a boatload of GI Joes when I was a kid, so I am a fan. But I collect so much stuff, and I really, I don't want to collect more stuff. So I'm trying so hard, so hard not to buy stuff. But a while back, I did pick up a Baroness because I don't know if y'all know this about, about me, but I, I have like, a real a real problem with like dark-haired, badass chicks who wear glasses. That just, and Baroness kind of hits that right dead. Anyway, don't, mm, that's for me and my therapist to unpack. Just ignore that. But anyway, the Baroness does run the crimson guard so i picked me up a crimson guard hassel says he's got enough of them for his uh army that he was building i don't know how many he's got but he said he's got enough so i did pick me one up just for the baroness to have you know uh her start of her honor guard y'all pray pray for me that i don't pick up any more stop me please stop me from buying any more all right so that was my latest ollie's trip pretty good trip i enjoyed myself bought some socks i didn't say that but i did they're nice socks they're dr souls uh that's it for this week uh once again thank you so much for being here for this whole time um who knows we'll, we'll keep going see if we can get another year going um before i get out of here um you know i'm here you found me here i'm always here uh at least try to drop a something every week um if you like what i'm doing make sure you like the show if you really like what i'm doing make sure you subscribe to the show uh hit the little bell thing so you know when i drop something new um leave me a comment um i said i know we've had a couple of new subscribers thanks you guys i tried to comment back um whenever you guys uh talk to me um i always read the comments i do my best to respond to them uh if i can think of something semi-intelligent to say um but uh i'm also on uh x formerly known as twitter big rob's house um i don't do much there but maybe i'll start if if some of you guys subscribe um i'm also on tiktok at big rob's house uh i think it's big underscore rob's underscore house i think um i do a lot there um not much toy stuff there more telling stories um, but 
you know, go check it out. If nothing else, those videos are short and easily digestible. Um, but check it out and give me a like over there if you get a chance. Bef Before. I already said that. I don't know. I really should write a script, but I don't. I just wing this whole thing every time. Um, do check out my buddies Hassle and Monster over at the Nerdy Man Room Show and Hassle's Review. They are also on YouTube. They are on all of the social medias. They are on Roku. They are on Fire TV. Um, they're just everywhere, and they're blowing up. They've 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 got a great show. They do awesome interviews. They do some really good reviews. Um, go check them out. They're good guys. Um, and if you're anywhere near the Tifton, Georgia area, make sure you check out the Zone Collectibles. Um, they're at 305 Main Street. Um, and they're also online on Facebook. And you email them through Gmail. I'll put their graphic up here um, with their contact information. Anything and everything that your nerdy little heart desires can be found at the Zone. And if they don't got it, then they can probably get it for you. And they're going to treat you real nice. They're going to treat you real good. They're some good people. That's the Clady Clan. Um, the Clady Clan also, because they don't rest on their laurels either, uh, they also run uh, the Roku channel, the Fire TV channel, that Hassle and Monster show us on. And I totally blanked as to what the name of the, show, uh, the, the channel is, but I'll put the graphic up. And I apologize to the Clady Clan because my mind just totally went blank. Because it does that a lot. I, I, yeah, sorry. Anyway, that is it for this week. Hopefully see you guys all back here next week. May the force be with you.